Valerie Castro now continues our coverage with more on those innocent victims who lost their lives. She is live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Valerie. Christine, this was an emotional day following yesterday's traumatic events. And here in Brooklyn, thousands of people filled the streets to mourn, pay their respects and honor their loved ones. Mourners filled the streets in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, as first the body of 31-year-old Mindel Ferenz was carried out in front of the Satmar Shul on Rodney Street before it was transported to Jersey City for a funeral service. Later, it was the body of 24-year-old Moshe Deutsch that arrived to thousands gathered for his funeral. The rabbi's voice delivered an emotional eulogy to the crowd. His father also spoke, thanking God. He moved the whole crowd to tears. He said... Well, God, I thank you, whatever you do. I thank you, you gave me such a good son. They're very, very good people. That's all I can tell. Very oh, friendly, people. very friendly people. They were helping each other. They were, Moshi was a volunteer of special need kids. And Mrs. Fan was, was one of the, who helped building up the community over there. Moshe was described as a person who tried to do the most good in this world, while Ferenc, just days away from turning 32, was a mother of three. She was just the nicest lady. Um, we'll miss her, and uh, she really left something in our hearts. Her brother-in-law says the family is devastated. She was very loyal to her husband. She was very loyal to the family. Uh, she helped out very much for the community. The third civilian victim killed was Douglas Miguel Rodriguez, who left behind a family as well. Mi esposo era un buen hombre. De verdad que sí, un buen padre, un buen amigo. My husband was a good man, his wife said, speaking through tears. He was a good father, a good friend. As for that mother of three, we have just learned that one of her sons turned 11 years old just today. And as for Douglas Miguel Rodriguez, he was 49 years old. His funeral arrangements have not yet been announced. Reporting live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Valerie Castro, CBS 2 News.